Hello everyone and welcome to this episode on preparing for the PL300 exam. In this episode, we are going to focus and discuss and take a look at some sample questions on that fourth functional group, deploy and maintain the assets. Stay tuned to see what questions we're going to take a look at today. All right, everyone, if this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the videos that we post here at Pragmatic Works. Today, what I would like to do is to take a look at the fourth functional group and the objectives and skills that you might be tested on within this functional group, deploy and maintain the assets. So here in this functional group that makes up 15 to 20% of your overall exam questions. There are two main objectives. The first objective is create and manage workspaces and assets. You can see the bullet points below, and these are the skills of how you might potentially be tested on this objective on your exam. The second objective, manage data sets, is a bit smaller, but there are still a few skills here that you do wanna be familiar with. Now remember, you wanna understand the content and the theory behind these skills and the concepts. You also wanna understand and know how to demonstrate these skills, how to prove these skills in the Power BI desktop. So let's go ahead, take a look at our first question. Now, if you have not watched my previous episodes, be sure to go back and watch those as well so you are familiar with how the setup is. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at a couple of questions. Then before we look at the answer, we'll take a look at how to solve it inside of Power BI. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first question here now. Question number one says, you created and published a report to the Power BI service. The report is currently in a shared workspace with the other members of your team. You would like a group of users to receive an email at 9 a.m. every day to the report. What do you do? A, create an alert. B, create a subscription. C, create a dashboard. Or D, create a workspace app. Let's head over to the Power BI service and take a look at how we would solve this. All right, so here I am in the service on a sample report. Now, our question stated that we need to set this up so that our users are receiving a daily email at 9 a.m. Hopefully, when you were looking at that question, you were deciding between answer choice A and B, either to create an alert or create a subscription. Now, we are going to create a subscription. An alert is a data-driven notification that you will receive once a threshold has been met once it has fallen below or once it has surpassed that threshold. You will receive that after a given time after the refresh. Now, if you want to receive a notification, an email about your report, a link to your report at a certain frequency, at a scheduled frequency, like a daily email at 9 a.m., then what you need to do is set up a subscription to your report. So from the report in the service, you can select subscribe to a report and then you can go in and select new subscription. You can then give the subscription a name and you can call this the uh, Adventure Works report, something named after the report or give it a little bit of information. Then you can receive an email as well as other users and user groups. Then you choose when that email should start being sent out. How often does it need to be sent out hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly? Our question stated daily at 9 a.m. So we would go in and set it up at 9 a.m. Then once we had the schedule set up here, we could expand more options. We can go and provide a subject, provide a message here to include some questions or some points that we want to point out here, anything that we would like the users receiving this email subscription to pay attention to, we can include that here. We can include permission to view, we can include a link to the report, and we can include a preview there. Once we have it set up, then we click save, and that subscription is ready to go. All right, so let's go back to our slides 
And the answer for question one is create a subscription. Let's take a look at question two. Data alerts can be created on dashboard tiles to notify a user when a data point is at, above, or below a specific threshold that you determine. Select the answer choice below that correctly identifies the type of visuals that data alerts can be set for. Is it A, bar charts, column charts, and cards? B, line charts, scatter charts, and KPIs? C, cards, gauges, and KPIs? Or D, cards, pie charts, and KPIs? Let's head over to the Power BI service and let's take a look at our dashboard. All right. So here on this dashboard, I have a couple of visuals set up, some from the answer choices that we saw. So if I take a look at the first visual here, this gauge visual, I can select the ellipses and I can select manage alerts and I can go in and add an alert role for this gauge. Now, if I go over to the KPI visual, I can select the ellipses, select manage alerts, I can go in and create an alert rule for the KPI. We can also go to the card visual, select manage alerts, and we can go in and create an alert for our card visual. So the answer is going to be gauges, KPIs, and cards. If we take a look at this column chart here and I select the ellipses, you'll notice we don't have the option to create or manage alerts. The same is true for the scatter chart. If I select the ellipses and go over and find the manage alert option, we're not gonna find it. We cannot set alerts for our scatter charts. If I select the ellipses on the pie chart as well, you'll see we are unable to set alerts for our pie charts on our dashboard tiles. So back to our question, the correct answer choice here is gonna be C, cards, gauges, and KPIs. Let's take a look at our final question here. Our final question reads, in the Power BI service, which groups cannot be used to assign security roles for managing access and permissions? Is it A, distribution group, B, mail enable group, C, Microsoft 365 group, or D, security group? Now, this one we are just gonna discuss, and the answer choice that is correct is going to be C. Microsoft 365 groups cannot be enabled or used for assigning users or user groups to security roles. You can, however, set up security groups, a group of individuals who have a common role and responsibilities and should have common permissions in your organization. So you can create those security groups on your Azure Active Directory or in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now, Distribution groups, mail enabled groups, and those security groups we just discussed are the only three groups that you can use to assign groups to security roles for managing permission and access. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments if there are any other bullet points, any other topics on the study guide for the PL300 exam that you would be interested in seeing me cover in one of my next videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time.